guys, I'm Roland the Tech Fuses, and this is going to be a review of the Acer 14-inch Chromebook laptop. Well, I'm fairly certain that some of you guys don't even want me to mention the name Chromebook. I think it's important to keep in mind and accept the fact that these laptops do indeed have a large market share, mainly in the US, and a lot of potential, of course. I believe that it could one day become a third operating system alongside macOS and Windows, and the big players all know what and who they are up against. Google, of course. See, Google has created the Linux-based operating system to first help students to study and allow them to get access to the internet at a much affordable and easy to use form factor. And since then, even Apple and Microsoft is trying to catch up to what Google has managed to overcome and reach in the past few years. But you're not here to learn about the past. So let's get straight into the review, I hope you enjoy it. The design is fairly minimal and it takes a lot of cues from Apple's Mac Pro lineup, but it's not all that bad. I appreciate the metal build and the simplistic design, and it's kind of amazing to see how some of these affordable laptops have got a whole lot better build quality and feel over the years. It's lightweight, compact and very stylish. Comparing it to the 13-inch MacBook Pro from 2015 is really surprising when you compare it side by side. I'll let you decide if you're a fan of this sort of similarities. I certainly am. As a customer, I get amazing quality that previously could only be found on higher-end devices. The hinge flexes a tiny bit, but it's rock solid thanks to the metal frame holding it in place. The laptop looks as if you could open it with just a single hand, and you can, halfway, so unfortunately you need two hands to hold down the base in order to fully open up the laptop. The keyboard is really easy and comfortable to type on, and it's also very quiet. Unfortunately, one of my lectures were too tiring, so I decided to write an article. Time spent well, and I really enjoyed my time with it. Having the power button not separated but in line with the function keys is frustrating, but you can get used to it very quickly. The mousepad is plastic and it's exceptionally great. It provides a clicker feeling and you can get used to it in no time. If you've used a Windows Precision equipped laptop or a MacBook before, it's clearly not as good as on a Mac, but it's still amazing for its price. It's worth mentioning that when you click, it's on the loud side, so while you type very quietly, your clicks will definitely be heard. There's a Kensington lock, two USB 3.0 ports and a HDMI port on the left side, while the right side only contains the 3.5mm headphone jack and the charging port. I wish Acer would have been able to at least fit in a 4 or a micro SD card slot, but I assume there wasn't enough space due to the compact and thin design. I also would have loved to see an Ethernet port, but since the laptop supports gigabit wireless connection, I really can't complain. The screen is a 1920 by 1080 IPS LCD display with great viewing angles and decent color correction. I have not found an issue while using the display and watching YouTube videos and other content. Everything was very enjoyable. It's surprising to see a full HD display on such a low price laptop. And if you take a look at similar priced Windows laptops, you'll see that most of those devices are only equipped with an HD display. Unfortunately, there is no touch compatibility feature to be found though you can tilt the display up to a 90 degree angle for whatever reason. In terms of specifications, this particular model has a quad-core Intel Celeron N3160 to be found that's clocked at 1.6 GHz with a turbo boost up to 2.24 GHz. There's 4 GB of RAM and 32 GB of flash storage on board that are found rather fast having used it on a daily basis. It has Bluetooth 4.2 and an extremely fast internet speed that allows you to browse the web very quickly. Unfortunately, some Bluetooth devices are not compatible and cannot be connected to the laptop, such as my MX Master 2S mouse, but my Anchor headphones are, and if you're interested about the headphones, you can check out my review link down below in the description. The 720p camera is usable, but it's certainly not recommended to be used for any sort of conference talks. The overall quality of the video isn't great, but the microphone is fine. The stereo speakers are face downwards, which means that it can be very easily covered by your lap or small objects on the desk. But when it's not covered, it's decent for the price and you can get some okay performance out of it for consuming content.
Chrome OS itself has nothing too fancy in it. I would go as far as comparing the experience to a toned down MacBook Pro that only offers the essentials, but it does so by doing it very well. While this can't really play and work with all of the applications from the Play Store, there is a long list of software that can work and make you even replace your Windows computer for the better. Google has worked hard on making Chromebooks more usable while spending time offline and it has gotten really good over the times, but not to the level where I would recommend it for users who are more advanced and require a lot of work to be done, at least not on Chrome OS, but maybe if you install Ubuntu or other Linux operating systems alongside it. The performance is everything you can expect from a Chromebook at this price range. It boots up in just a matter of seconds and it runs pretty well. I experienced a few slowdowns here and there, but usually after running the laptop for 10 or more minutes, the performance became a lot better and much smoother. I think it's worth mentioning that I'm the kind of person that has, on average, 50 tabs open in Chrome, so having used this Chromebook with between 5 to 15 tabs open in the background, I can't really complain about the performance. It slowed down a little at certain times, but I'd say it was totally usable, up to 10 to 12 tabs, depending on what was displayed, of course. When watching a few videos here and there on Full HD resolution, sometimes the video is sluggish for a couple of seconds, but luckily that has only happened a few times during my usage. Using this Chromebook as a student myself, it has allowed me to keep my larger, heavier Dell Inspiron 7577 at home and pack this in my backpack when I went to university. It was a joy to use during lectures as it was compact, quiet and very powerful for all of my needs. Not the fastest, but I was even able to use a few programming software on it. And if you're interested about my Dell Inspiron 7577, you can check out my review linked down below in the description. Now, using programs like Visual Code or Eclipse is not something you can run on a Chromebook, and that's why I've installed Ubuntu alongside Chrome OS. As I've come to find out, Ubuntu is mostly fully functional, even if not the fastest, on this particular Chromebook, and there are plenty of bugs to be found, such as when using anything in Ubuntu at times, some or all programs may close themselves down for no reason. Therefore, compatibility is certainly an issue, but I can assure you that it's a good little device to carry if you're a student at a university or college, and maybe even for work. In terms of battery, when I only use Chrome OS, I would get 79 hours of use out of this device by browsing the web and maybe using a few Android applications here and there. While using Chrome OS and Ubuntu, I would only get between 6 to 8 hours depending on what would be running on the computer and for how long. I've noticed that when I've left Ubuntu open, it would still make the computer go to sleep and hibernate when closed down, but would drastically drain more battery, roughly 10-20% more in the background while not in use. After I've learned my lesson, I always make sure to power down and close down Ubuntu, and I would get a consistent 6-8 to eight hours of use while using Ubuntu and Chrome OS. So, the conclusion part. I feel like this Acer Chromebook is aimed at not only students, elderly people and those who want an affordable device, but pretty much everyone. It allows everyone to keep themselves entertained and allow them to get some work done while being on the go. Sure, more advanced people might laugh at me when I say this, but Chrome OS and its features have gotten so much better over the years that it's now worth thinking about it. This Acer Chromebook pretty much excels at everything. It has a great aluminium design that's lightweight, thin and very compact. It has a full HD display that allows you to watch movies and multitask just like you would on any other laptop or computer. It has a decent performance and while not class leading, it will definitely allow you to get some work done or to have some relaxing time watching Netflix or YouTube. The battery will definitely allow you to go through a full work day without charging it, that is, if you don't install a Linux operating system alongside Chrome OS. So there it is, the Acer 14 inch Chromebook review. I can certainly recommend it and I would love to see more people using it in the near future so Google would have more reasons to improve it and make it even more competitive on the market. That's been it. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please leave a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to check out my website techfusers.com where we share a lot of important and interesting stuff. All that said, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.